Hello, Fire Signs. It's me, Brandy, and Baby Edge, because he's not feeling very good with your generals. Okay. Doesn't matter the timeline. Whenever you get pulled to this or led to this, that's when that shit happens. So I want to start out with, are you mad, bro? <laughs> like, are you mad? I feel such a vindictive energy standing behind fire signs right now. Right? Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just so you know, I'm a shadow worker. My name is Brandy. Go to ToriAndI.com. You can follow my Instagram. Whatever. Here is the heart. Okay. Number 24 could be significant for someone. And then the number 29 of Quartz Point. But that was in the reverse. So let's read them as they came out. 24. Isn't that right, you jerk? Isn't that right, you jerk? Just so you know, I do a lot of humane work. Just no place to put cats. Get help with dogs, not cats. So every time you book a reading with me, know that over 50% of that goes to this. Love and infatuation. I could see that. I could see that. So this is not looking so great already it didn't feel great either so i was like are you mad like you gotta make sure you put up appropriate boundaries or you respect someone's boundaries okay true love is enduring and can occur with or without materials of any type so if someone's trying to manipulate you like i'll come over if you get me this or this or this yeah nope 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 it's a perfect time for romance and for passion. Doing what you love with someone you love. Whether platonic or sexual. Love is forever. When you feel love and passion, your heart is filled with joy and you feel safe. No need to worry or stress. Look to others for comforting words and deeds that are waiting for you. Take a good look at what you love and make sure you do it. All too often we leave our passions behind as we age and then lose our way. Staying in touch with your hobbies or passions, even through stressful times, may be your coping mechanism and doesn't need to be something you feel guilty about. Okay, share your love with another and remain generous and emotionally available and enjoy the current passion you are feeling and expressing in your life. Sadly, though, as a shadow worker, kind of not feeling that way. Okay, I feel like someone's infatuated the other end and like looking way too deeply at that compatibility in long term. And it's like someone's refusing the advances. That's where I said the boundaries need to be put into place. Okay. And then number 29 in the reverse. <clears throat> Rose Court or Quartz Point. Sorry. It's supposed to have clarity in many forms. Um, reverse. You may think you've gained clarity on a particular issue, but you are missing something in your assessment. Perhaps you're missing a bit of the picture you need to push further for information that is lacking. This may be the root cause of your indecisiveness at this moment when you're normally decisive. If being indecisive is chronic, try spending time meditating and clearing your mind until your thoughts are crystal clear and sharp. You can always try binaural beats, okay, binaural music. It does help clear those cluttered thoughts, okay. <clears throat> We face a lot of noise and confusion in our day-to-day -day existence, and we all need downtime. If you're well-rested and still unclear, self-deception may be at work. I'm like lying to yourself, okay? That's why you're mad. Like, I feel someone's mad. That could be you, or that could be someone, like, trying to bring that, that vibe to you. You feel okay, baby. Huh? A little runt butt. All right. <sighs> okay. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sag. <laughs> it's not one to really shuffle too well. What, oh, Mama? Dumbfounded. Sometimes there are no words for things that happen. And the best you can do is shake your head, have a giggle, and move straight past it. Okay. 
birth. Another gateway appears in your view. New life is unfolding with blessings to you. So I really feel there are two strong story types here. Okay, one who is respecting boundaries and in love, and the other person who is not respecting boundaries. You gotta know who you are. Who is shocked? Being alarmed at what is happening is a healthy response for your own self-preservation. You need to stay alert and watch for further signs so you can protect yourself because someone is literally trying to, like suck you into some game plans here. Pretty crappy. Reject. Dismissing opinions too quickly can lead to neglecting important information. By taking time, the truth will come apart. apparent and you will view the situation in a different light. Which would be the birth, you know, the gateway. The clear mind, the decision, and people need to remember uh, rejection is literally God's protection. Right? Rejection is God's protection. If someone doesn't want you, they're not for you. Or they're missing out. You know what I'm saying? Don't force a situation. And if they're not respecting, and you're just like, I cannot believe this person does not take a hint. You know what I mean? Whatever this is going on here. Yeah, you're in a transition. Okay? It's more about, I think, realizing the difference in wants and needs. Like, what's... What's for your highest good? Like, having all the inner resources you need to cross whatever bridge arises on your path. Okay? It's transitions. Sorry about the light. Mama! Mama, you're healing. You can't have that baby. <clears throat> You have all the inner resources you need. Yes, transitions bridge our life from one significant change to the next. There are periods between one way, phase, or chapter in life and another as interims that follow turning points of no return. They bookmark the times that we have had to figure out how to make our life work again. Transitioning takes as long as it takes to adapt to new circumstances or perspectives. The tension of not being able to turn back and not knowing how to adjust effectively to what is new can be disconcerting. It's a varying degree of pain, resistance, and inner turmoil as we struggle to break our former self into a new way of life and version of ourself. So something has smacked someone definitely in the face. Okay? Like about the situation. It smacked someone completely in the face, my little baby. And um, it's supposed to open up like a, a new, like you don't need to be fighting that. You don't. You need to take that as, I need to go over here. Okay, I need to go over here. This is what I need to do. It's a minor or major like transition. And it's like, you're going to be okay. It's going to be messy, awkward, uncomfortable, met with resistance. But you need to find your new rhythm, your new routine. Um, reflecting upon all those things that you've gathered that knowledge from and keep note of that stuff as you go forward, right? Because a transition is a blessing that people rarely recognize at the time. And someone is bitter. Someone is trying to force something else that does not need to be forced. I'll tell you that I kept getting anger and trying to push, push the limit. And that is not needed. That's someone, go get a restraining order. Beauty. I want your beauty. I want to keep you for myself. You know what I mean? Like, mermaids lured people. That's a lot I keep getting. Someone keeps trying to bait someone. And it's making someone lose their focus. And when your focus is supposed to be there, and that's when spirit has your back. Okay. Freedom. <laughs> yeah. It, they're, they're, they're blessing you with the freedom. Okay. Or you need to let go. You need boundaries. Boundaries, boundaries, boundaries. Something's very shocking, but that's to help you move on into another phase, okay? Fire signs. I'll catch you later. Hey, jerk.